morning. Good morning. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's gonna get better, guys. Gotta stay positive. Just came on for a few minutes. Missy's still sleeping. But there's times even when she's sleeping, I put this music on for her. That's what keeps positive energy. I say it all the time. Whenever you're feeling down, or like myself, I don't know, for weeks and weeks and past couple of years, I get more and more about the children, just like I posted. And then to see and hear the things that are happening in our world. So, let me get it on again. I just play that one back because it's ending up. That's that's my Celtic music. Then I like uh, uh, many things, Enya, all of that stuff. Uh, you know, there's many people that I'm hearing from that we believe we're empaths and I never even thought of that. But I think what gets me when I see how over the years, you know, you don't see children out playing as much anymore. And to know that, you know, there's, there's this evilness. And I have to tell you, when the president says that there's an invisible enemy, the days pass now. I'm not even thinking it's the coronavirus anymore. It's not what he's talking about. And that's why yesterday, that presser where, and I just posted again how the military and about with the cartel and things like that, I think there's more to this. There's more to this. And I'm feeling more positive that I think finally... There should be justice for our children, not just children, but any person that has been a victim of sex trafficking. I, um, I feel that way. I just do. I hope I'm right. I hope maybe that everything we're going through is also another way that the president is draining the swamp. It's so clear and evident yesterday. I said it. So clear. What a leader we have. It says a lot, guys. It really does. And when I get this feeling like, like, you know, I love the Christmas time. I love Christmas time. And then all of a sudden I could be fine putting my decorations up. And then it's like this, this thing comes over and I think about these poor children, these children and what's happening to them and what's happening to young women. You know, where are they? See what I mean? Why is it that we can't find them? Is there, you know, a darkness for them? And that's why I say and I wrote that we, all through our life, we've been geared to, to always say to ourselves, there's a light at the end of that tunnel. Well, I believe there's a light at the end of that tunnel and it's coming. I really do. You know, um, there has to be something with this because I'm not the only one that feels this way. I mean, I know us as children, you know, we, we couldn't wait for Christmas. We couldn't wait. 
And then to know that there's kids that know this life. You know what I mean? We got kids that were being taken, kidnapped for sex. It's disgusting. It really is. And I think that's the invisible enemy that President Trump is talking about. Could be wrong. And that's why I just feel that so much is going to take place. And you know what? It is going to be rough and whatever for us. But you know what? It's going to be an awakening. That's why now I feel that when he was telling Hannity, we're going to get up that day to a sunny, bright morning. It's not just for us. It's for the children and the people that have been trafficked. Look at last week when the president mentioned that young girl. There's more to this, guys. More to this. So I'm just enjoying my coffee. I'll be on later. And listen, we're going to have prayers this afternoon. I'll post it. So talk to you again later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.